We lead with some additional reaction tonight to that police shooting death of a man who Buffalo police say was armed with a weapon which he fired. Now there is further confirmation that his name was Edward Holmes. Good evening, I'm Ron Plants. Just a few hours ago, his friends and family gathering for a vigil to remember him and speak more with reporters in the location where that shooting occurred Saturday morning. Two on your side's Andy Payton was there and has the story for us. Night, a house in Buffalo once at the center of a family's memories. The cookouts was here, the parties was here, the family reunions was here for years. Now at the center of its biggest tragedy. It's never going to be the same again, ever. Friends and family of Edward Holmes joining in prayer this evening. Outside the 57-year-old's house were just over 36 hours ago. He was shot and killed by two Buffalo police officers. My dad died in the middle of the street by himself. It happened just before 10 a.m. Saturday morning after officials say they received a 911 call of a man with a gun. Buffalo police arriving on scene to find Holmes with a shotgun. That's when authorities say Holmes fired around, prompting two officers to return fire, striking Holmes and later pronouncing him dead at the scene. My dad ain't never been the type of man that would come out and shoot at no police. Buffalo PD and the Attorney General's office have launched an investigation into the shooting, but many questions still remain. I'm not hearing it. I don't buy it. That's not my dad. Questions that Edward Holmes Jr. and his siblings tell us don't add up like the fact that the 911 call came from his father's phone. He called out for help, and instead of y'all coming to help him, y'all killed him. But until they know exactly what happened. If I go out here and I start shooting people, I'll go to jail for it. So the police need to go to jail for it too. The loved ones just want justice. All he did was wear cowboy hats. For their neighbor, father, and cowboy hat-loving grandfather. Dad, I'm gonna miss you. And I'm junior, so your name gonna always live on through me. Now, Buffalo police have vowed to release the body cam footage of the two officers involved in the shooting. We're told that'll come out anytime in the next week. We will be sure to stay on this for you and provide the latest updates when they become available. For now, on your side in Buffalo, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.